Hey, what's up guys? Today we're going to learn how to make a day-night cycle that actually changes the color as well. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so what people tend to do when they create themselves a day-night cycle script is they go on their game object, their directional light, they create themselves a script, call it whatever you want, and they only write a single line, and it does the job. I'll show you what it does in a second. So I'll go ahead and clear this out only use the update and then private void update in there I am going to say uh, this transform dot rotate and then we are going to write vector 3 dot right and then uh, say the speed at which you want the rotation to be I write one just for the sake of this tutorial so that is what they tend to do and it gives this kind of result which could work fine, but I'd like to push this a little bit further in this video. And to do that, what we'll do is we're going to change our day-night cycle a little bit. Instead of having a single line, we're going to write a little bit more. So we're going to declare um, a private light that I'm going to call this light. And we're going to go fetch this component over here, so the light component on our object. To do that, we do a private void start in here, write down this light is equal to get component light. So we're getting the light from our game object component. And after that, we're going to need some more fields. So I'm going to declare myself two float, the first one being a float I'm going to call transition. Transition, I'm going to assign it at zero for now, and private float transition speed which is going to be uh, the speed at which at my day and night cycle uh, goes so instead of making it private I'm going to make it public so I can change it in the inspector and also one last field that I'm going to call sunrise so private bool sunrise is equal to true and check this out so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna make the transition float bounce back and forth between 0 and 1 and then we can use the transition to determine at which point the sun is at its peak so in the update I'm going to say transition first we have to make this uh, float bounce back and forth in between 0 and 1 so I'm going to say transition plus equal if it is a sunrise then I want you to plus equal uh, transition speed actually I'm going to write like that transition speed times time dot delta time and if it is not at the sunrise I'm going to say minus transition speed times time dot delta time just like this okay now we have to check if we are past 1 or below 0 so if transition transition is below 0 or transition is above 1 just like this then what we're gonna say is sunrise is equal not sunrise so if it is true it's going to be false and vice versa now let's go ahead and check this out in game so debug.log transition we have no effect on our light just yet but we're going to look at the console see if our float goes um, if it, check if our float is going back and forth so as you can see it goes up to 1 and then it goes down again and it does that non-stop so now we can use the float to change the intensity of the light but before we do that go ahead and just position your light uh, in the direction you want your light to be coming from so put your light back on something normal just like this and then all we're gonna do is we're going to play with the intensity cursor back and forth just like this so 0 one zero one zero one okay so back in our script now we are going to go here remove the debug.log we're going to say this light dot intensity is equal transition and now we have a really really simple day night cycle but we're actually going to add something more on top of that well let's check it out first so it goes back to night and then back to the sunrise okay so we're going to add a little bit more to that we're actually going to change the lights color so 
this light dot color is going to equal and now we're going to do a loop and that's perfect because we have a uh, we have a float we can use our lerp with so color dot lerp when it's nighttime I want it to be blue so color dot blue and when it's daytime I want it to be white so color dot white and then we use the transition field that we assigned earlier now let's go check this out in game once more and remember we can also change the transition speed here so I'm going to put it a little bit more uh, a little bit faster and as you can see our day night cycle is actually changing the color as well and you can see the change in our inspector up here alright guys so remember you can change your color your start color to whatever fits your level so you have like a volcano level you can put some red color in there and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so um, if you have any question leave them in the comment section below if you enjoyed this video or if it was helpful to you please leave it a like and I will see you guys next time